Did you know that you could measure angles? Yeah, you're not gonna be measuring something like this. You're actually gonna be using something called a protractor, and that's what we're gonna be learning today. Let's get into it. Doodly doodle, doodly doodle, doodly doodles and digits. Area symmetry fractions too. It's all here for you. So, what is a protractor? A protractor is a tool that looks like this, or this, you might have one, that you use to measure angles. We're gonna be using this right here, which is a virtual protractor. We're gonna break it down into a few steps. Step one, you are going to put the whole circle or dot on your protractor so that it's lined up with the vertex. This might also look like a little upside down T. Step number two, you will then line up one of the rays with the line on the bottom of the protractor. Step three, you will see where the other ray intersects the protractor and that is where you will find your angle measurement. That's how you measure, hooray! Now that you know how to measure, let's try a few practice problems. Let's look at this pizza. Step one, we're gonna line up the dot, circle, or T on the vertex. Step two, we're gonna line up the one ray with the bottom line on the protractor. Step three, we are going to look at where the other ray intersects. Ta-da! All right, now let's look at this angle. Same thing, step one, line it up on the vertex. Step two, bottom line with the ray. Step three, where does the other line intersect? Ta-da! All right, last one, here we go again. Step one, do you remember? Step two. Step three. And here is our measurement in degrees of this angle. All right, here's a trick. If you know the different types of angles, acute, obtuse, right, you can actually use that to estimate and figure out which set of numbers you need to use, and also check your thinking. So, for example, if you're measuring this obtuse angle, and you see that you are coming up with a smaller degree when you're measuring, like 20, 20 degrees, you can think to yourself, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. That's an obtuse angle. I know an obtuse angle has to be more than 90 degrees. Want to know more ways to make math visual and use awesome tools like protractors? Go ahead and subscribe. We put out new videos every month.